you can actually make an argument that uh, Floyd Mayweather is almost like the perfect exhibition fighter in the sense that if he was an opponent that was going to go up against Floyd Mayweather, you literally in a situation where it's high reward and very low risk if you think about it from the perspective of if you look at the top fighters in the sports today sport today like the likes of Canelo Anthony Joshua um obviously Golovkin there are other fighters as well like Errol Spence and Inubi and all these all these great fighters um if you was to get into an exhibition bout against them um obviously like if you just look at Canelo's last couple of fights for example he fought Billy Joe Saunders he broke his eye socket if you look at his opponent before that Callum Smith he broke his arm I mean Canelo is a brutal brutal fighter look at the likes of Golovkin who's got like one of the highest knockout ratios in um in boxing history in the middleweight division if you look at someone like Inui who's who's a lethal puncher who's destroying everyone um if you look at the likes of Pacquiao who's 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 in his prime was vicious but even out of his prime he he was vicious this is a dude that dropped uh key Furman, who who at the time was an undefeated um undefeated young champion who he was very eager to get at him from a risk perspective um a youtuber w- would never definitely never try to get into the ring with the likes of a canelo or a golovkin um the risk is just too high because obviously with them fights they're they're likely going to get broken eye sockets broken broken cheekbones i mean if you've got world-class professional fighters that are very good fighters like the likes of billy joe saunders he's a two-time world champion in two different weight classes getting a broken eye socket what do you think would happen to a youtuber like a youtuber who who has relatively no boxing ex- experience compared to um the contemporaries that are in his sport and then we come to Floyd Mayweather. If you think about it, Floyd Mayweather is this uh, defensive wizard. He he doesn't have the mentality to attack first. He can fight offensively, but his offensive ability is nowhere near as sophisticated or adept as as the likes of a of a Canelo or a Golovkin. He's not the type of guy that's going to hunt you down. If because of that, very rarely have opponents in Mayweather fights. Like they have said that he does hit harder than he does look. And they don't they can't come straight at him because he does hit harder than he looks they can't just overrun him but you're not going to get broken eye sockets if you're fighting mayweather you're not going to get a broken jaw you're not going to get a broken orbital bone you're not going to get a broken arm like mayweather is a great defensive fighter but he's not an offensive fighter he's not a fighter that like just look at keith Furman's face after he he had his fight with pacquiao i mean he he had bruises for days if you look at most of Mayweather's opponents, they, they they don't look too bad, relatively speaking, when they come out of the ring. Now, on top of that, not only do you get low risk in terms of like the opponent that you're fighting. If if you were to fight Floyd Mayweather, it's unlikely that you're gonna you're gonna sustain very severe injuries. Like you could you could get hurt. In, I'm not gonna deny that you could get hurt, but you're not gonna get broken eye socket. You're not gonna get broken jaw. The fact is. Um, you're you're more likely to walk away from the ring unscathed but then on top of that is very high reward i mean look at um logan paul who just fought mayweather he's gonna make probably 20 30 million for fighting floyd mayweather for for such a low risk yeah you're getting such a high reward and on top of that floyd mayweather tends to uh drag the show forward like like i could imagine him like um if you wanted to like um to give his opponent like his pay-per-view subscribers the people that actually paid money to watch him fight he doesn't let the fight end immediately because um obviously like um he feels like he needs to give them a bit of a show so like he does tend to hold back he's not trying to viciously knock you out because he's a defensive fighter so because of that I, f- I think he is the perfect opponent like if 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 i wanted to have an exhibition bout against a boxer and i was a famous youtuber i'll definitely opt to fight mayweather i mean it's low risk it's very high reward and on top of that if the fight is somewhat he's not scared to make the fight boring so like it doesn't have to be too exciting and on top of that like you're gonna make a lot of money and on top of that like obviously he's gonna make a lot of money but you're gonna make a lot of money you're gonna get away be be able to say that you've been in the ring with one of the greatest boxers that's ever lived and on top of that you're gonna come out of the ring unscathed you're not gonna have a broken orbital bone or anything severe 
So yeah, that's my thoughts on the matter. Tell me what you think below. If you could fight any fighter from history in an exhibition bout, who would you pick? I'd probably pick Floyd Mayweather. Just to see if I can try to attempt to solve his defensive wizardry. Like his, that puzzle that 50 opponents have failed to solve. On top of that, you're going to get paid a lot of money. On top of that, you're going to leave the ring unscathed. So that's my thoughts. Tell me what you think below. And like and subscribe. I've got a lot more content coming your way. Peace out.